Hello, welcome back to Next Level Adventures. Now, today's video is a little bit different. Dreamy and I, we're in the province of Pichit. It is in northern Thailand, but it's almost uh, in the central part. But technically, it's still in the north of Thailand. It is a very harsh and wild environment. As you can see, there are lots of crazy animals and all sorts of things that just want to rip you to pieces. <laughs> And in order to document this trip to every single province in Thailand, there are five things that make this work. There is me, Paddy, there's Dreamy, there's Sparky, there's Sony, and then there's gopro -y. <laughs> She just got a new name, gopro -y. And w without any of those tools, we would just not be able to you know, get stuff on YouTube and, and document our travels. So today we lost one of those members but it was in quite a funny, typical Pitchit province way because this place is wild and we lost it in a wild encounter, literally. So, strap in, hold on tight because we're in Pitchit province and things are wild and crazy out here. Stay tuned because at the end of this video there will be a message from me to you from the future, hopefully with a resolution to the problem that happened today in Pitchit province. So stay tuned to the end because uh, Hopefully, there's a good ending, happy ending. Happy ending in Thailand. <laughs> that was a bad joke. Anyway, enjoy Pitcher Province. So the crocodile pit it does exactly what it says on the tin. This is a giant pit with probably 100 crocodiles ranging from little ones that are cute to absolutely massive ones and they're all just like in here swimming around sunbathing on the rocks and there's turtles in here as well. Anyway the coolest part about it is, oh sorry I'm just this guy, can you see him? Going for a swim. The coolest part is at the entrance, it's free to get in, but at the entrance you can pay 20 baht for a plate of chicken and with some pliers. And these windows, I think they're closing, but I've already done it, but he's closing up the, sh the little windows. You can lean over and throw the chicken in. And it was so fun. Okay. We want some chicken. Chicken. Hey. Oh, are you hungry? Are you ready? But uh, I want to go get some more, but they've run out and it's late afternoon. But I thought it'd be better to come here in the afternoon because they've had all day to charge up their energy in the sun. Obviously cold-blooded big reptiles need a lot of heat. And they're all just surrounded. And now some of them I can see getting out. And they're very active at this time of day. And they're all swimming around and they're all moving. And just a little bit worried that the turtles are going to get eaten. Because surely a crocodile chomps straight through the, the shell, no problems. And what's really unnerving is the more you look, the more you see them. Like there's a, there's a brick wall and they're all on the brick wall and they're all moving around and they're everywhere. And um, some of them are massive. Some of them are massive. You, you've got to come here in Pitchit province to the crocodile pit. <laughs> I mean, just look at this guy. So it seems like there's a lovely lake just next to the crocodile pit in downtown, which is nice. And then there's this bridge thing and there's a building. And I think that that is an aquarium. It's not going to be very big, but we'll go take a look. But uh, I'm gutted that they've run out of chicken because I'd be there 20 baht a plate. I'd, I'd get 10 plates and just have so much fun <laughs> feeding those crocodiles. I remember years and years ago, I think 2008, I went to a restaurant 
and it was called dead fish and you could buy plates of fish you could also buy a whole chicken alive and in the restaurant they had crocodiles in a big pit and you could throw the fish or you could throw the, the live chicken into the crocodiles and they'd all chomp it to pieces and everyone would scream and that was uh, a restaurant <laughs> sorry I've just is this an animal what is this uh, it's a dead catfish being eaten by a bunch of other little fish. It's wild out here in Peachit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's free to come in. The crocodile pit was free, entry, and the aquarium was free. Now it's a little bit depressing in here, and the fish don't really seem to be in the best habitats. They kind of just look like dirty boxes. Some of them have got mold in them, and the fish seem to be relatively happy. <laughs> I don't know. There's pigeons living inside. <laughs> inside the aquarium. It's <laughs> true! Oh, Jesus! To be fair, I don't think they could charge money for that. It's that bad. And I lasted about one minute in there. It was boiling hot. The habitats for the fish were very bad. And the whole place just freaked me out. And maybe they should, they should charge people. Is that a crocodile? You see it? What is that? Looks like a snake or a monitor lizard. This is as far as I can zoom, I'm sorry. But he's gonna get out, I think. Pitchit province is mental when it comes to, what you know, savage animals. Eating dead fish. There's a giant pelican, crocodiles, giant lizards, which I know it's far away, but trust me, that's a massive monitor lizard swimming. If it's going over there, I might be able to find him on the land later. So it's quite unnerving to be around this but uh, anyway they should charge money in that aquarium charge 20 baht 10 baht for a kid and then they can pay someone to take care of the fish and clean the bloody glass and the tiles and give them some toys and some rocks to hide under and just it was a little bit uh, upsetting actually slightly that bloody monitor lizard that giant lizard has eaten my drone so I, I was just like, let me get the drone up. I wanted to get a shot of the lake. I wanted to get a shot of the aquarium. And then, you know, before I did any of that, I was like, let's go follow the lizard. And it was, you know, I was, I, if I've got the footage saved on my phone, uh, because it saves like a really low res video sometimes to my phone. If I have it, I'll show it to you now. And I was following it and I was really close, just hovering over and it was swimming and I was getting some National Geographic style footage of this lizard. And then he got out by the green house and I was reversing up away from him, seemingly away from any trouble. But alas, that, that, that tree. And uh, as I was going up and back, I backed into the tree and it doesn't have sensors, the little sparky on the back. So you never know if you're going to go in anything behind you. But I thought I was clear anyway. Clipped the tree, plonked right into the water right next to the giant monitor lizard and uh, I am going to try and retrieve Sparky because I have rescued her from being in a waterfall in the sea and she survived but even if she doesn't survive I really want to get the SD card just so I can show you the high res imagery but now that means I have to go toward where the bloody lizard was and also if it's in the water I'm not going in that water it's full of monsters Yeah, there's, there's no chance, no chance in hell that I'm getting Sparky back. So I can see now where I went wrong. So just imagine on the corner of that little green house, that's where the lizard got out of the water. And I was just, you know, I was about 30 centimeters above this lizard, really close. And then I decided to go up and back and back away. That would be the final shot. And then um, I'd fly over towards the aquarium. But 
as you can see the tree that's just a few meters behind the greenhouse there's branches that go quite far out over the water and I, I, from that vantage point I didn't notice that and uh, I backed into that and it's flopped into the water which means it's about three or four meters out into the lake I mean look at it it's just a swamp fest of monsters so I'll see if I can get another one because I love those sparkies on Facebook so it might only be a $200 replacement um, but it sucks because the province I'm going to next is like epic beautiful and I'm definitely wanted to have the drone for it so that's upsetting god damn it <sighs> Do you know what I'm thinking? Since Sparky's just died, maybe we should counteract that with some life. Hello. You buy the fish and put the fish in the water. Oh, a little turtle. We can set a turtle free. Okay. Oh, yeah, put him in, it's fine. Okay. There you are, thank you. Come and cap. <laughs> it's 150 baht for like a big bag of fish and a big bag of eels and a big bag of little baby catfish. Cool, huh? Interesting uh, part of Thai culture. <sighs> I just thought, you know what, Sparky's dead. So let's, uh, let's put some life into the world. Okay. Um, it's a bit, quite a bit of trash around here. Let's go somewhere nice and clean so you can be impressed with your new home. You can be like, oh God, this is so much better than living in that plastic bucket. Okay, he's, he knows what to do. He's straight out there. See ya. Oh, he's gone. But you, come on. Come on, scary human. There you go. Get a little breath and then that's it. Oh God, don't fall in. There he goes. There he goes. Out to the world. No, he's scared. He's come back. He's like, it's a bit deep over there. <laughs> come on, mate. Don't, you gotta go find your brother. He's like, oh, it's so deep down there. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Okay then. Well, that was one disaster, slightly fixed by the turtles. That's the crocodile pit. And there seems to be a little, little path here by this lake. <sighs> this province, oh, it's a challenging place to be. If you're an animal, lots of things are gonna eat you. If you're a drone, <laughs> Lots of ways you can die too. This was a road and now it seems to be I'm just driving on a path in a park. So I feel a little bit bad. Maybe I accidentally took a wrong turning. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, oh, there's a motorbike up here and there's a, there's a teenager on a date. And he's got his laptop. He's probably trying to show her his YouTube videos. Yeah, I've got a YouTube channel, babe. I've got 35,000 subscribers. Oh really? I don't care. Should we go in his mouth? Wow. He's a big one. What's it made from? That's oh, quite... It's very substantial. Wow, this is... What is this? I mean, it's obviously plastic, but it's a high quality plastic. Awesome. Howdy cow. It's big, isn't it? You know, big thing. And here we are at the end. This little boat here. And a lotus flower. I'm sure they use that for Loi Kratong Festival and things like that. And, uh, wow, there's a sandy beach over there and there's kids building sand castles. It feels like we're in the south again. I think this might be the little dirt track to the beach I saw the kids playing on. Let's just have a little, a little look, see what we can find. 
<laughs> wow, they've really made this look like a little um, a mini Koh Samui with the coconut trees that they've obviously implanted and the sand, which is obviously not from around here. They've transported this up from somewhere. Oh, they've got a little kiddies crocodile park or, or something. What's going on over here? Let's have a little look. Dreamy, you don't move, okay? She's like, oh, we're back in the south. Let's go see Flora and Note. <laughs> no, we're in the north. Technically, Pitchett is in the north. Although, you know, it's almost in the central part of Thailand. But technically, technically, according to some, it is a northern province. This is not a kid's playground. What is this? Oh, it's uh, it, so these are paddles. They're, they spin and they oxygenate lakes and they oxygenate ponds, specifically normally where they shrimp farm, just to keep the shrimp. Uh, they're very delicate animals. And if they, <gasps> I see another lizard. Maybe he has my drone. He's coming into land. He's coming this way. You won't be able to see him on the wide angle, but he's coming this way. Let me go hide on the, on the park bench. No, he's going back out. I think he's onto me. Because he was coming towards the sand, right? And I was like, I'm gonna wait for you. But he turned around. It's not, I mean, I've got nothing to say. I'm kind of speechless because uh, I lost my drone and I'm, I, that's, all, that's the only thing I can think about because, I mean, the drone I can replace, but when? And tomorrow I want to go to uh, Pechabun province, which has these majestic mountains, one of the most spectacular looking temples I've ever seen in the mountains. And obviously a drone would amplify the production quality. So I'm just thinking for you guys that the production of the next few provinces might not be what I want and what, what I aspire to do, which is to, to try and create the best possible video. I know you're probably watching this video now thinking, is this the Pitch It video? <laughs> the province of Pitch It is you whinging about the drone for 10 minutes. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you've noticed, I've just been walking around with my GoPro on my chest and I've not been proactive and I've not switched to my Sony very much. I've not been putting it down and doing my nice walking butt past the camera shots to set the scene and to give you scale. I've been a little bit lazy for the last hour because I'm just like, demoralized from the drone incident so the best thing for me to do is just to call it here go home admit defeat research to see if i can find another drone quickly where can i get it sent to tomorrow i just left that on the whole time and now that's run out of battery <laughs> pitch it you kicked my ass and i was only out here for two hours <laughs> see you in petrobud <laughs>
So thanks for watching. Dreamy and Sparky and Droney and GoPro-y and Sony. And I also, I forgot MacBooky. MacBook is very important because she helps me edit. Anyway, we're back on the road. <laughs> See ya. Mm.